the city is covered in snow tonight Where did my love go? Santa, I'm waiting for him But he's nowhere in sight And all of the presents are still by the tree Here comes Shelby. Come on in, baby girl. I just gave her a bath, and she's so fluffy and cute. Um, I want to, even though it's Christmas Eve, come here, baby. It's okay. Look at the baby. Look at my baby. Isn't she just divine? Oh, my gosh. She's not fighting me. Normally, she does not want to be in front of the camera. But she's very relaxed. Maybe she knows Santa's coming tonight. She has to be a good girl. Yes, you have to be a good girl. Mwah. Even though it's Christmas Eve, I have... I want to come on. I wanted this to be like a fun, celebratory Merry Christmas video. But as I was thinking about it, I have, other, I have something else I want to talk to you guys about. So as... As I have prepared for this Christmas holiday, as I have, as we all have, bought presents, dug out our Christmas ornaments, our Christmas trees, our Christmas tradition dishes and glasses, and polished our silver or silverware, and uh, got our little Christmas salt and pepper shakers ready, got our uh, Christmas placemats out, our Christmas tablecloths. And as I was digging through my attic and my uh, napkins, my like napkin cupboard and my silverware drawers and all of those places that we all have where I store my candles and you know, all that stuff. I, every time I, I was digging and reaching for something, I realized more and more how much stuff that I have. And I was, in the back of my mind, it was not in the forefront, but in the back, I'm very aware of the fact that I am 68 and it's, um, I, I do not want to purchase more and more stuff. I, now when I go shopping and I see these beautiful ornaments and beautiful tablecloths and place settings and table runners and fresh candles and all of those wonderful things, I'm, I'm salivating. You know, I want everything, but I, I can't. And I say to myself, you already have that. You already have one. And, uh, and you know, don't look at that. You, you don't need any more of that. And I don't. But here's my question. How do you know, when is it time to scale back, downsize, and or is it now tonight for the first time my daughter is we only have one child a daughter she's 39 years old she is single she is lovely and a delight very independent very much on her own and so this is the first christmas i have spent or christmas eve i have spent without her normally she will come over christmas eve and we enjoy we 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 read from the Bible. We uh, take pictures by the tree. We may open a gift or two. We sometimes go to candle. We used to always go to candlelight service, but since we've uh, sh she and I both have sort of gone to different churches, so we don't. We were supposed to go tonight, but we've been doing that less and less. So at any rate, um, so with her not being here tonight, it was just another check on my list of that my life is changing and when is it time to downsize? Now, personally, I I have several gal pals that live in these beautiful, I'm going to call them resort areas, but they're kind of like 55 and over places. They're like a Sun City type place. And and they have these gorgeous clubhouses with everything under the sun, you know, like gymnasiums and yoga and 
cooking classes in this gourmet kitchen and game rooms for mahjong and bridge and beautiful pools, you know, pools for the adults, pools for the grandchildren, saunas. Um, they have, you know, uh, wine Wednesday, taco Tuesday. They have every night of the week, there's something going on at the clubhouse. And it's not corny stuff. It's not just all bingo. Not that bingo's corny. <laughs> I happen to like bingo, but you know, they, they have combos at play and piano bar and, and they have, uh, like little games and races and stuff that they do. So I, when I visit my friends that live in these communities, I am just so impressed. And I really would love to see myself living in a place like that. But I also have this beautiful home that I've been in for 30 plus years. So I, um, when is it time to downsize? Frankly, I'm ready. But, you know, it's a, it has to be a mutual decision between your spouse and yourself. And even though I'm ready, I'm not so sure my husband is ready. So that's a conversation that we we need to have. I do get a little bit nervous when I look in my attic and I see how much stuff I have. I I get nervous when I look in in, in my closet or I look and I like I we have inherited some beautiful pieces of furniture from my husband's family and they are like filled with beautiful linens and beautiful silverware and um you know, priceless family treasures. But you know what? Do I have to have them forever? When do I get to go through that stuff and pick out the choicest pieces and get rid of the rest? Because you know what? My daughter doesn't want it. And she has everything that she wants and her taste is not my taste. She's young. She's contemporary. She doesn't want a lot of this old fashioned stuff. So, um, you know, I just, uh, I'm, I'm putting that question out there. How many of you ladies are feeling a sense of, is it time to downsize? How am I going to do that? Oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed at the thought of it. So, um, so anyway, as the season comes and goes, as the new year is approaching in, uh, you know, very few days, I have this on my mind. And as a mature woman in the mature community, I can't be the only one. Now, many of you have already downsized, but I know many of you probably have not and are have one foot in your present life, one foot thinking ahead. And uh, by no means do I feel like I'm ready for the... Uh, the uh, nursing home, but there are so many lovely new places for the baby boomers to go and live and thrive in a new sort of fun lifestyle. And I think I'm ready for that. So at any rate, you guys, this is Cindy. So I just want to let you guys know I love you to bits. Mwah. And I'm so thankful for all of you. I'm so thankful for my YouTube friends, my social media pals and all that you mean to me and all that you say to me and the encouragement and love that you have given to me this year. So I hope this Christmas Eve finds you festive, full of joy, and uh, until our next conversation. The city is covered in snow tonight Where did my love go? Santa, I'm waiting for him But he's nowhere in sight And all of the presents are still by the tree